I'm Eric, I'm KC8VWL, and I'm here with Universal Radio, and today we wanted to talk about the Yaesu FT-857D. The 857D is the newest version of this model. In the D version, they've added 60 meters, and they've included what used to be optional, the DSP unit. The DSP features with this radio are, are really nice. It gives you a, a very effective DSP noise reduction. Um, also, there's adjustable DSP filtering, which lets you really tailor the audio in the radio to remove a lot of unwanted noise and interference. This radio has really been designed to be installed in a mobile situation. It's very compact. It's got a removable faceplate, which is going to make installing the radio in the trunk or underneath the seat very easy. Got a lot of versatility on where you mount it to make it easy to use in your car. It's still got a very large, ergonomic, easy to use tuning knob. The display on it is a really nice LCD display that has a, a very wide variety of colors and contrasts, so it can be set up to be viewed in almost any type of light environment, which is great. Everything that wraps around the tuning knob and across the top here is just very ergonomic and really easy to use. Some of the other things that uh, are nice with this radio, it does come with a, a basic hand mic. It gives you a very nice mobile mounting bracket, um, a very long power cord, which is going to make that mobile installation uh, very easy. It, it's going to be long enough to where you can mount it in the trunk of most cars and not need to make an extra cord uh, to use this when you mount it stuff separately in a car. It does have feet that flip down on the bottom, so if you've got it inside and you're using it as a base, it's going to perform and work well and be very easy to use there. Just wanted to talk a little bit too about some of the, the options for this radio. There's a huge variety of things available uh, to really improve this radio or tailor it to how you want to use it. Um, everything from optional CW and single sideband filters, um, high stability oscillators for working with digital modes. One of the things we really recommend is the DTMF hand mics. It's going to let you use uh, auto patch capabilities and also the keypad is going to give you direct frequency entry which is going to make tuning within the bands all, a little bit easier. Um, another accessory that really does work well with this radio, uh, Yesu has an antenna system called an ATAS-120. The ATAS-120 is a screwdriver style antenna and this radio has been designed to work with that antenna system you only need one coax connection to connect to it and that antenna will work on VHF and UHF and then HF it will cover from 6 to 40 meters. To have all of those capabilities to be controlled through your radio it makes a very nice very streamlined install in a car and, and really open up a lot of doors for, for mobile HF. This radio draws 22 amps so you're going to need a serious power supply to run this um, and when you're doing a mobile installation you really need to make sure that you stick with the fused power cords that come with this. Uh, this is definitely not a model you can plug into a cigarette lighter. There's also a lot of tuners available for this. Um, this radio is so ideal for using for field day and, and other situations, camping. Um, with a tuner and a lot of different um, inexpensive wire antennas, there's just so much versatility with this radio that you can really get into. On the uh, back of the radio, you're going to be able to see the VHF jack. Um, that's going to be VHF and UHF, uh, the HF antenna jack. Uh, you've got uh, a couple data connections that are going to be using mini DIN cables. And then you also have an external speaker jack and uh, a jack to hook up a CW or Morse code key. Mainly just because of the size and its affordability, uh, this has been by far one of our best-selling HF transceivers. Um, for under $1,000, you can easily set up a full HF station and get stuff going. And with, with so many capabilities, it's definitely going to be a radio that's going to be a benefit to any ham out there.